Hello and welcome to SpaceClaim. Today we're going to look at how SpaceClaim can be used for plant design layouts and how you can visualize your designs in 3D. Now the great thing about being to work with plant layouts is that you're able to import files from many different systems. Primarily we'll notice that a lot of plant layouts are built in AutoCAD. So we can import both DWG and DXF file formats natively inside of SpaceClaim. Notice we have a simple plant layout that we may want to work with and visualize. One of the nice things about working with SpaceClaim is that our basic tools that you quickly build and reuse geometry. By starting with the initial AutoCAD lines, we can simply work with them to create 3D images. Our pull tool does all of our geometry creation. So if we wanted to conceptualize our conveyor belt in 3D, we can start to select on and pull on all of the faces. It's really easy to select and modify the geometry and also snap it up to the right height. It's a great way to modify your models and you can do this no matter what you select on. If you pull on a face, it'll change its size and shape. If you select on edges, you'll quickly add rounds or chamfers. Or simply select on the round to resize them and notice everything is modified in real time. So let's just finish this off by quickly building a few legs for our model and thickening this. Notice how quickly and easily you can start to select on and modify the geometry without having to worry about how it was initially created. Now instead of ge creating our geometry from scratch, we might want to import some additional models. So let's bring in a few models that we need to bring into this assembly, such as a scissor lift <coughs> and a processor. The great things about bringing these models in is that you can place them anywhere you want to in the design. Our move tool, unlike pull, lets us position and move things around our assembly, even allowing us to take our designs and snap them up to different elements that are there. We can snap them up to our ramp or up to our scissor lift location. And you'll also notice that SpaceLim has a <coughs> assembly commands which automatically let you see the motion of your parts in your design. So you notice how high how this needs to move up in order to reach the top of the ramp. Additionally, what we can do is bring in other components. And we can bring in components from ProE, SolidWorks, uh, Step, any of these formats, and use them in our design. Here we might bring in our processor and position that inside our assembly as well, using the same move functions, which quickly allow you to translate and rotate geometry. Here we'll just snap this up to place as well and position it in our model. Now one of the other things we might need to do in this assembly is check some human factors. So what I also like is the ability to bring in models which will mimic the size and shape of our design. Here we see an actual life-size human in the model so you can see what the design looks like in our assembly. You'll notice that the conveyor belt that we built might be much too high to use as it was currently designed. So instead, make a modification. Select on the geometry and make a change to it. Notice whatever I select on, I'll modify. If I select an additional face, I'll change that at the same time. So this is a really fast way to make ch changes and modifications. But now we might want to build a few more components as well. And let's actually take and build our last ramp. Now the nice thing about taking our designs and starting to pull them up into a model is that we can also work in 3D at the same time. So if I want to simply take edges, I can start to build as much realism as I need to into the model. This might be a fine representation for our ramp that we're using. However, what I may need to do is instead convert this to sheet metal. 
So this allows me to choose the thickness and actually thin out the part. And just so we can see this better, let me isolate this and convert this to sheet metal. You notice we have a lot of great tools which quickly let you work with both 3D models and sheet metal designs. Quickly add in any junctions into the design, whether they're bends or whether they're rips, so we can quickly generate the unfold model. So you can do all of your concepting in 3D and even see what the unfold will look like. So now you can see how much it will cost to, to manufacture this and then let your designers figure out the rest. So I hope you've seen a few different things that you can do inside of SpaceClaim to modify designs, take in images, and add realistic parts to your model when you're figuring out your plan.